So one of the things we're going to create this time is a column chart. Now, if again, if we look at this, just like I said in my email, we're getting what I call lost in the sea of data. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. Where do I begin? Well, that's where columns and charts become beneficial is basically they take this slew of information that we're looking at that's confusing uh, to you and I and well it's gonna do something about it it's gonna make that a visual representation now one of the things I'm going to need is I'm gonna need this line right here now I selected B4 to L4 and right now okay the B4 why did I do that it'll come back in time when we start looking at what this is doing this is actually gonna be our label so now I want to basically look at my total revenue and my total expenses. The problem is as soon as I click on total revenue to try and highlight it, I don't know, look at that, B4, just all, I can't, uh, come on, I don't get to do that. However, one of those keyboard shortcuts that I had taught you guys before was that we can hold the control key. Now if I hold the control key and I go through and I start highlighting, say, total revenue. Notice what's happened. Total revenue is completely highlighted and so are my years. Now I can let go of this for a second, which is okay, and I can come back over here and I can do the exact same thing with total expenses. Holding down the control key, highlighting total expenses. And now I've got my data from non-contiguous files, non or cells, non-touching cells. Now if I want to create that column chart, same way I did my pie chart, I come in, I go to my insert tab, and instead of going with the column, you notice I have a few different options, I'm going to go with the insert column chart. Now one thing to take note of, right beside it, you see that we have the insert, uh, insert bar chart. Uh, they're basically the exact same thing. They are literally 100% the exact same thing. Uh, one is just rotated 90 degrees. Yeah, so I'm going to click on this column chart and I'm just going to select the basic one, the uh, clustered column chart. And what you can see is exactly that. Look at what we've got. Suddenly I have my legend telling me that my revenue uh, is going to spike. I'm going up exponentially almost. Kind of, kind of is going exponentially uh, up as the years progress, whereas my expenses sort of start to taper off after uh, 10 years. Now, the one thing I'm going to do is I do want to format this up a little bit. It looks a little eh to me. One of those things I want to do is I want to change this chart title. One of those things that I can do is I can click on it. Notice what happened. I highlighted it and suddenly as I kind of stare at my mouse, I've got my insertion cursor, the little eye thingy, which means that I can click and highlight and suddenly I can say uh, a projected uh, I don't know revenue and expenses yeah now one of the things that we can do again is I want to take this and I actually want to put it over there with my pie chart now my pie chart okay let's move this out of the way let's put it up here somewhere I want to take this and I want to put it right beside my pie chart. So how do I do that? Well, if you go notice inside of this chart tools section again, okay, we've got those styles that make everything look pretty, kind of. Uh, but over here on the far right, I've got this move chart button. And if I click on this move chart button, I get a move chart dialog box. And it asks me basically where do I want to put this. I can either put it on its own sheet or I can embed it in another worksheet. For example, the overview worksheet, the one that we're all looking for right now, the one I said I wanted to work with. I hit OK. Boom, it moves it over there. Now one of the things you saw is I kind of magically put my pie chart over here what I can do is I can actually move this chart. I can just basically, if you notice, click and drag it around. Now, one thing I want to point out is if I click on the wrong thing, things screw up. If I click right now on this thing right here, and I start to drag, that did nothing. And now I'm highlighting this, and 
Ah! I thought the computer was supposed to be my friend and... Oh, hey, it worked that time. No. Here's my recommendation, since obviously I deal with moving charts a lot, is find some of this white spot. Notice what happens when I mouse over it. It says chart area. When I know that I'm highlighting the chart area, then, let me, there we go. Then I know I'm gonna move the entire chart. So again, because I'm in the chart area section, this white spot up here, click, hold, and drag. And then I'm just gonna sync it right up beside my pie chart. Again, the last thing I wanna do here is I do wanna kinda match the size of it. And you notice these things have anchors. They're tiny, they're little squares, but they allow me to resize this chart. So I can take it, click, hold, and drag upward. And I'm gonna drag it to right there, uh, L27. And as you can see, what it will do is it will resize my chart.